Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Roberts and I'm a professional musician. I play folk music and I play various different musical instruments but the main instrument that I play is the acoustic guitar and I play in various different bands and I've played in lots of different bands over the years but the main project for me is a duo called Gilmore and Roberts uh, alongside a fiddle player and mandolin player called Katrina Gilmore and we've been going since 2006 so nearly 15 years now and in that time we've recorded and released five studio albums and we've played gigs at venues and festivals all around the UK and in Europe and Canada and also we had the opportunity to play at Long Division Festival in Wakefield which was a lovely experience. The short piece of music that was played at the beginning there was a traditional Irish tune and when music is described as being traditional it means that it's really really old and it's so old that nobody can remember who wrote it. But even though it was written hundreds of years ago, it's been passed from person to person for generations and it's still being played today. Ireland is really renowned for its traditional music and that particular tune was a type of tune called a jig, which is a kind of tune that has this really sort of strong, bouncy, rhythmic feel to it. And it's really good for dancing and makes you want to tap your feet or clap along. And when this sort of music is played, it often has a, a percussion part played on a specific type of Irish drum called a baran. And today we're going to look at making our own percussion instruments that we can use to play along to a jig. Okay, so all I need you to do now is go and find something that you can use as your percussion instrument. And all it needs to be is just two things that you can hit together to make a sound. It could be a pan and a wooden spoon. It could be a couple of pens, a nice quiet one. A Tupperware pot and a spoon. So my percussion instrument of choice is going to be this empty peanut butter tub and this pencil. So now might be a good time to pause the video so you can go and find something that you can use as your percussion instrument. And then when we start again, we'll start learning some rhythms. Okay, so hopefully now you've got something that you can use as your percussion instrument. So now we're going to start learning some rhythms that we can play to the jig. We're going to learn three short rhythms that we can then put together into different combinations to make our own drum beats. And a way for learning these rhythms is using words that sound the same as the rhythm that we want to play. The first word that we're going to use as our rhythm is the word frog, doing one hit for the sound of the word. So you say, frog, frog. So try it after me, frog, frog. Try joining in with me, frog, 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 frog. Okay, that's our first one, frog. Our second rhythm, our second word that we're going to use is the word pasta. You got two hits, pasta. So try it after me, pasta, pasta. Okay, try joining in with me this time, pasta, 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 pasta. Okay, very good. Okay, and our third and final rhythm that we're going to learn is the word broccoli. It's got three syllables in the word, so you're going to do three hits for each one. So, broccoli. Broccoli. Give it a try. Try joining in with me. Broccoli, 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 broccoli. Okay, so now you've learnt the three rhythms, the frog, pasta, and broccoli rhythms. We're going to now start adding them to a jig and we're going to break it into three sections. So the first section is going to be level one. And it's going to be the easiest one. And it's going to get a bit harder as we go on. So for level one, we're just going to use the rhythm pasta. So you're just going to do pasta and then have a bit of a gap. Pasta and a bit of a gap. So let's just try playing just that one little bit on its own along with the jig. Here we go. One, two, three. Go. So for level two, the next section, we're going to use two rhythms this time. We're going to start off with frog, frog, little gap, and then pasta and a little gap. But this time, to make it a bit harder still, I want to think about how loud and quiet we're going to be playing. So I want us to start off really quiet. So you're going to do frog, pasta, frog, pasta. 
faster and we're going to get louder as we go through this section okay so let's give that a try on its own one two three go Okay, so moving on to the third section, the last section. We're going to make it harder still for level three. So this time we're going to use the rhythms. Pasta, broccoli, pasta, frog. With no gaps in between. So pasta, broccoli, pasta, frog. And this time we're going to do it really loud. So the second section, we were getting louder throughout it. And for this final section, I want you to do it nice and loud. Okay, let's give it a try. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, so now we've got our jig arranged into three different parts. So let's put all that together and see if we can do it all as one piece. So we're going to start off, first section, just doing pastas with big gaps in between. And it's just a nice normal volume, not too loud, not too quiet. Then we get to the second section, we're going to play frog, gap, pasta, frog, pasta, but we're going to start it really quiet and we're going to get louder throughout it. And then for the last section, the third section, you're going to do pasta, broccoli, pasta, frog, pasta, broccoli, pasta, frog, and nice and loud. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. Okay, well done everyone. I hope you managed that okay, but you can always go back and have another try at it if you like. You can always pause and rewind. And also at the end of the video is a version of the jig that doesn't have any percussion on it. So you could use that to have a go at coming up with some of your own drum beats by using different combinations of the rhythms that we've learnt. And try thinking about how loud and how quiet you're playing. And alternatively, you could just try freestyling and just play whatever you like. Just be creative and have fun. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about those different sorts of rhythms and playing along to some traditional Irish music and I hope it helps you achieve your arts award. So best of luck with that and take care guys. See you again. One, two, three, four.